Salesforce Bytes, we talk about how an administrator can log in as any user in the system. Now there are times when, an, when a system administrator who's really the, the dawn of the area or you know, who's someone who has pretty much every access that this guy needs, wants to log in as someone else, right? It could be a requirement wherein a colleague or an employee has gone on a sabbatical but wants to check in or you know log in and try to see what if there are new cases assigned to him uh, if they want to you know ask the administrator you know can you can you ch uh, take a look at all the records that i have in my queue currently can you check my cases can you check the tasks i have can you postpone them or any kind of use case or any kind of requirement wherein uh, the administrator might need to log into someone else's uh, uh, framework or someone else's salesforce org right that can be done if you are the system administrator in the system and how do you do that we'll take a look at it right now so i'm on my setup page on the salesforce org and if i go to my users tab right now so i notice that there's one trainer which is a system admin there's sf trainer uh, system administrator let's just go ahead and create a new user right let's create a salesforce platform user so i'll just go ahead and say dummy user dummy user at the red test trainer.com all of it this is fine i'll just give it the role of channel sales team the user license will be salesforce platform and the profile would be standard platform user right and i'll just go ahead and create this user in the system now i have a system user in my system right now what if this user wants the system administrator to actually use his profile to log in uses use his credentials or use his, his user persona to log in and check anything or maybe you are a developer and you want to see how things work for different personas right you might have built a component that might vary for different personas or different profiles how do you check that as a system admin in the system for testing purposes for debugging purposes there might be an issue in production which this particular user is facing and the client has raised a case saying that you know uh, things are not working for the dummy user like how do how do you test it very quickly either you go ahead and you know set a password for this user and go ahead and try entering the username and password every time that you want to test in a separate browser or you can also use another way which is something that the system admin can do and he or she can log into any user's uh, credential directly from salesforce now how do you do that let's go back to our user screen and let's take a look at all the list of users right now the only action available is the edit button here that can help us edit the user record but if you want the system admin specifically the system admin to log into any user as that user we can just go ahead and on the quick find box type in login access policies and here you'll see that there's something that's called administrators can log in as any user right so based on the login access policy you can grant users login access and once you enable this right here you can click on save and once this is saved let's go back to our users tab and you'll notice a difference now when i go to the users tab i see the login button coming up on my users right these are predefined users from salesforce but whatever users i have created apart from the system admin which i'm currently logged into i have the login button enabled and if i go ahead and try to log in as the trainer i can do that as a system admin which is a very easy and fast uh, way to you know log in as someone else see probably something for the audit trail see something on the on, on any kind of requirement that particular user has or maybe just for debugging purposes or testing purposes uh, to see if a functionality works or not right so if you see i'm logged in as trainer and if i want to just log out i can just, I can just click on log out as trainer and i will just be redirected and i can log in back as the administrator so this is how a system admin can access someone else's persona to log into the salesforce org to see how things look like for him or her Right? Thank you.